1945, the Soviet Union continues to expand in both military might and political influence. Soviet Russia holds a commanding position in the future destiny of the world. But it was the United States that held the secret to atomic power. Mr. Truman declares we must have atomic control. The flags of freedom fly all over the world. This superiority would be short-lived, however, as Stalin was already at work on a plan of his own. While searching for uranium on a tiny island off the southeast coast of the Soviet Russian engineers discovered E-99, a powerful and unprecedented source of energy. Seeing an opportunity for further world domination, Stalin authorizes unlimited development funds to explore the capacities of the substance. Project director Viktor Barasov establishes an island research station, Katorga 12. For his groundbreaking research, he receives the Order of Lenin. When Nikita Khrushchev succeeds Stalin, he accelerates the program, pressuring Barasov to begin field experiments. However, not only is E-99 capable of delivering unimagined power, it is also incredibly volatile. Yet Barasov is pressured to begin tests. The disaster has no known survivors. Moscow buries the installation effectively wiping it from the map. 2010, a US spy satellite flying over the area is blinded by a radiation surge. Fearing another Chernobyl, and suspicious of Moscow secrecy, the reconnaissance mission over Katorga 12 is ordered by the Pentagon. Actual here. What's your status, Captain? It got punched out. Copters down and we're scattered. Don't know how many KIAs yet. Over. Satellites got you about 30 clicks south of a radio tower. Get your team there, Captain. We're pulling you out. Understood, sir. Spartan team, if you copy, switch your comm gear to Tank 3. Meet up at the rally point. Some miracle you're alive and hearing this. Rally at the base of the radio tower we passed over before we got bounced. SNR's running carp over there. Double time it. Move. Help! Help! For the love of God, please! Get me out! Doctor, 
What happened? What did you do? <coughs> what did I do? Nothing. <laughs> I almost died in it. One actual copy. For fuck's sake, someone copy back! Copy back and tell me things look a little softer than normal because I'm officially freaking out! Go in section 8 here. I know it, damn it. Okay, okay, eyes forward. Keep to the original directive. Continue to the radio tower.
Nine one. If you're receiving, I'm in what looks like a school, and there's some guy. Holy mother! There has been another event, this one much worse than the last. Is it good to see you, Ray? Stick to the plan. Get to the radio tower. Maybe we can salvage equipment there if we need it. How could Intel have been so wrong? I mean, this place is anything but abandoned. Something's not right. We should at least be able to hear the Titan One broadcasting. Search and rescue teams better be on their friggin' way right now. Let's go. The uniform's a little different from what I've seen, but this is definitely a Russian soldier. No question. Let's go. Then cover me. On me! 
All clear! Shit, it's locked. I'll hold this area while you find a way to open the door. There's the radio tower. Let's contact Titan 1 and get out of this circle jerk. On me! Stay frosty. Ask your mic, head back to my position. Shit, more of those things. Grab that rifle, we gotta clear a path. Shoot! Let's move! Chopper! And it's not one of ours! Get down! scanning for any more of those creatures.
Let's go. Finally. Jesus, it's like an antique show here. Titan 1, this is Devlin 4 1 Actual. Do you copy? Titan 1, this is Devlin 4 1 Actual. We're primed for extraction. All squadrons on alert. Again with the Russians. Say again, this is Devlin 4 1. Oh, they must be jamming our comms. It's all Russian all the time. Does anything work on this goddamn island? Of course not. This place has been a Who the hell is this? Shit, these guys don't look friendly. I'm having a really bad day here. Captain Renko. You are Captain Renko, are you not? Don't look so surprised. Your name's right on your uniform. America's charming pension for individuality. Now, I have some questions for you. Name, rank, and serial number. That's all you get from us, Ivan. Check your Geneva Convention handbook. I did away with that little inconvenience years ago. <laughs> We are officers in the United States military. I want to talk to someone in our embassy. I think you'll find that impossible for a number of reasons. Our embassy, right now! <laughs> That's better. 
How is it you haven't aged a day in 50 years? There is only one explanation. The TMD. Where is it? Run, Rako. Head straight through the doorway. Just follow the open doors. Run! Run! Nathaniel Renko, my god, you're here. Just like Mir-12 said. You must have a lot of questions, but we don't have a lot of time. Quickly, this way. My name is Catherine. I belong to an organization known as Mir-12. Here, this should answer some of your questions. We are Mir-12. Our mission is to reveal the truth that's been hidden from the entire world. In the 1950s, a military research base was built on the island of Katorga-12. To this day, the government denies its existence. That is a lie. According to top secret documents we've uncovered, the base was the site of research involving the mineral E-99. The E-99 research program was headed by two men. Dr. Viktor Barasov, a top researcher in the field of quantum physics. He didn't live to see the outcome of his work. Reports say he was killed in an unexplained laboratory accident. This man stepped in to lead the program after Barasov's death. He went on to lead Russia in a war for world domination. A war won using super-powered weaponry developed at Katorga-12. Today, we know him as Chancellor Nikolai Demichev, leader of the world government. The events surrounding Demichev's rise to power are still a mystery. Our organization is in possession of a journal that claims Demichev is a fraud. It raises many questions about Katorga-12. What happened there to put Chancellor Demichev in power? What could have caused so much destruction and taken so many lives? Evidence points to this structure on Katorga 12, the Singularity. What is the Singularity? The journal claims one man will lead us to the answers. His name is Captain Nathaniel Renko. It is our mission to locate Captain Renko and help him achieve his goal. We are mere 12. We will reveal the truth. One of the lead scientists on the Singularity Project built a hidden vault. You must find it. Go through there. Here, two-way communicator with GPS. Now go! The radiation unleashed by the singularity has mutated the people who used to live here. 
Keep your eyes open for them. Either lost the monsters or they grew bored with us. We are safe for now. Pommel twisted his ankle and fear it is broken. The vault you're searching for contains a device called the TMD. It was invented by Dr. Beresov, one of the scientists who worked here in the 50s.
According to the Mere 12 journal, there's a hidden entrance in this building that leads to the vault.